Good morning, trucking junkies. Uh, Apollo's got the horses out and bringing that big ball of fire across the sky. I've been up since 4.30. We got 59 miles to go. I want to appreciate everybody for being here and watching today's video. Let's get our butts to Dallas. Let's go. Yeah, the sun is bright. We're here. We're number four in line. I'm going to go ahead and get my tarps off and straps off and be ready to go when I can move up. Man, it is hot out there. I got unloaded. And we got we had a pre-plan to go to uh, come down here to Midlothian, which is only about 20 miles away, and uh, up some steel from Gradal, and we're taking that to Mississippi. Uh, that's going to be another 500 mile run, and uh, that that delivers tomorrow. So man, I'm gonna have some miles this week. They're working my butt, a dog. They said, Jeremy, you want to do some work? I said, sure. Okay, let's do some work. But uh, I wasn't supposed to be here until between 12.30 and 1.30. And uh, so I stopped at the Loves down the road and got me uh, an Arby sandwich. Because holy crap, I was hungry. And uh, went ahead and come on over here. And they said, uh, come on in. I said, hot dog. That'll get me down the road some. Man, I got to get a shower today. Ah. Uh, it's hot, sweaty, nasty. Shower time. And I'm not doing the hammer dance. But we're going to get loaded and get the heck up out of here. No tarp. Should be chains only. Uh, looks like billets. Pretty good. Let's go. We are loaded and we're moving out. Boing, boing. Boing. Oh man. We got five bundles of beams. I believe. we go out this way and scale out uh, I've only been here once before and that was with my trainer I do believe we go this way and scale and get our bills yep, outbound scales this way And then if we had to tarp, we'd come back around here to the tarping station and tarp. But we don't have to tarp. Nothing coming. Alrighty. Truck scales, baby one, two, there we go. And there's our outbound scales. Uh, when I came here the first time, with my trainer they had a rule that uh, riders couldn't go out to the yard and they considered trainees riders so I had to go down here and sit in the scale house for a couple of hours Ouch, ouch. I sat there and watched uh, watched my tablet for a couple of hours while he went and got loaded.
and at that point I believe you scaled in and out over here hmm let's go get scaled so I'm pulling up here to the scales I got another Maverick driver in front of me he was headed toward the scales and uh, I passed him you see his eyeballs and his head just turned looking at my freight that's that's the thing about Maverick Maverick drivers always looking at other Maverick drivers stuff not minding their own dang business not that any of mine's bad it's not my stuff is doing right they just they're nosy nosy and can't mind their own business I mind my business uh, it's almost three o'clock we're under 400 miles uh, and I've driven a lot of miles this week I'm gonna have close to by the time I get home tomorrow I'm gonna have close to 2,500 miles this week that's pretty cool. I got the bug graveyard going on on my on my windshield. Looks like I gotta clean that off when I stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop. Uh, I could drive until almost seven o'clock tonight. I'm gonna stop a little earlier than that. I need a shower and a little bit of rest. I'm I've been going since 5 o'clock this morning and I'm tired been up since about 4.30 but uh, yeah so uh, we're at 597 subs I need 3 more subs I see you you and you go hit that subscribe button Hit it. Slap it. Slap it. Honk it. Do something. Let's go find us a place to park. Holy crap. I was going through Shreveport and that was the roughest road. I've been through some rough roads, but holy cow. Jesus. I need to do some work in that city. I know I complain about, about road work, but dang. Felt like a bobblehead going through there. Also, uh, I'm not too familiar with Shreveport, but apparently there's an Air Force base here. Uh, Air Force and Air Force Base here uh, and uh, I guess it houses C-5s because uh, there was just this huge C-5 that was driving that was flying by and if you don't know what a C-5 is look it up they're huge uh, comment down below if you know what Air Force Base is around here because I have no idea. And also, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> we got 299 miles to go. 2 hours and 45 minutes. And it is like 416, so we're going to... Uh, I think I'm going to stop around 6 o'clock. Uh, that'll leave an hour on the clock, but uh, I really need a shower. I need to... I'm tired. Ready to ready to get some relaxing going. There's a soft plan for tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna drop this off and then pick up in I think it said Philadelphia, Mississippi. And then that's going to Fort Smith for Monday. And so that and I'll have to go home. I'll, it'll be out of route, but I'm allowed 150 miles out of route to go home, I believe it is. 
so it won't cost me too much. But hopefully I can be home by tomorrow afternoon. I don't really want to get into the evening, but we'll see. So there's a there's a pilot down the road about 43 miles. Well, there's one just down the road, but there's one down the further down the road, 43 miles. That'll put me into my last hour of driving and put me at 500 and uh, right about 530 uh, miles for the day. That's a pretty good day of driving with a drop off and a pickup. Not bad. So we're going to stop there. That'll put me less than 200 miles to go in the morning. Uh, just, just under 200 miles. So that's pretty good be all right there I believe and I'll get a shower that sounds like a winner oh man I uh, started a new book the last book in the uh, centuries trilogy by Ken uh, Ken Follett it uh, this book started the last book the last book ended uh, around 1947 I think or 49 somewhere in there and then this book picked up in 1960 it takes just a few minutes to get into it but he does a good job in tying in all the characters with the last book that makes it a little bit easier so yeah Oh, we are at 599 subscribers. I need one more. One more to hit that six. We're going to hit the six. You. You out there, right there. Hit that subscribe button for me. Let's go. Woo, we've made it. We ran into our last hour just barely. But we did. Uh, we've got 190 miles to go in the morning. Uh, and then we've got uh, uh, 300 and something to the house tomorrow. It looks like. Hopefully I'll get there. That's a lot of miles still. Uh, but we did 500 and whatever today. So... If they can get this off quick tomorrow and I can get loaded quick tomorrow and I don't have to work into my into my drive time, then uh, we should be able to make it home. It's going to be late though. I could start at 4 o'clock in the morning, but god dang, man it's early. I don't know. Depends on how late I stay up tonight. Tonight's video might get in there early may may do it pretty early but i'm gonna go take a shower because i need one hit that subscribe button i'll see you tomorrow